Welcome to Quake Champions. This is the uh, upcoming Quake game. It's the public beta. I've been playing it since the first day of closed beta actually, but now beta public and the NDA has been lifted so you can record stuff and all that. Uh, I've been a, I mean, I've liked Quake since forever and I was really hoping that this new game would be good and um, it's alright. It's alright. Um, I can show off some of the customization stuff while I wait for the match, I suppose. So, yeah, it's very much following a free-to-play style model. I believe it's going to be free-to-play. So you have, like, a bunch of characters here, like an you know, Overwatch, Heroes, Champions, whatever you want to call them. And uh, you only start with Ranger, and then you can buy the rest of them or rent them with this favor currency. There's three different currencies. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be a... Um, free to play system. I believe you can also buy a physical copy and get all the characters, something like that. I don't know. It's been very confusing, actually, and they didn't share too much information. I'm not going to be able to share the, show the customization, am I? Because we, we just got a match. This is great. But I have a bunch of different colors here unlocked, like here's a purple one, here's a grey one. They don't match the icons at all, so that can be a bit confusing. Let's be purple for now. I unlocked this head. This is the normal head. This is Visor from Quake 3. You might actually recognize that character. Uh, but maybe not with this purple Visor thing. It's a few Quake 3 characters. I mean, Ranger obviously is Quake 1, but was also in Quake 3. Uh, Slash here. Oh. Uh, Slash and Anarchy are, all, are also from Quake 3. Um, oh, well, speaking of Quake 3, let's, let's vote for Blood Covenant here. Because Blood Covenant is actually a map from Quake 3 as well, so that can be fun. Uh, this is a remake uh, of uh, Q3DM6, so Quake 3 Deathmatch map number 6, which was called uh, The Camping Grounds. It's uh, not the best Quake 3 map, it's a pretty good one. Uh, it's honestly, to date, the best map in Quake Champions, which is a little sad considering it's a remake, but um, you know, Quake has had very good maps throughout the series, so it's not too... It's it's not too surprising that an old map might be the best one. That's been the case in previous Quake games as well. I mean, Quake's, Quake 4's best map, in my opinion, was uh, Over the Edge and The Longest Day, but for which were Quake 2 and Quake 3 maps, respectively. So, um... Yeah, we have this little intro bit here. Uh, the game... I'm running it on the lowest things now, because the game has some really bad performance issues that I hope we, we won't, won't have to see too much. It's warm up now, so we just have all the weapons and stuff. Oh, that's an... That's a strange shotgun I haven't seen, seen before. That's a shotgun I'm used to. Oh, right! Okay, yeah, I know. Um, your starting weapon, I can actually show that off. Um, you can pick starting weapons. Machine gun, shotgun, and nail gun. Uh, so, if we spawn with a shotgun, then we can upgrade the shotgun to a standard shotgun. So, your, your starting weapon is always the worst weapon, but if you pick up the same weapon, you get an upgraded version. So that's one of the new things about this Quake game. Uh, the other new thing is the ability system. So now I use Visor's abilities, I can see through walls for a bit, so I know this person coming there and I can shoot at them. And you would think that would change the gameplay a lot, it really doesn't. Honestly, it kind of feels pointless, as, as you'll see in a bit now, because um, Quake still just plays like Quake, and when you just add uh, like small additions like this, no one's really gonna bother using them. I say yes, does this ranger use their teleport orb thing? <laughs> but um, well, honestly, like most of the time, you just you, you you tend to just forget that there are abilities in the game, and no one uses them. So you know. I'm, I'm, the only reason I'm using it right now, honestly, is because I'm doing a preview of the game. <laughs> it's actually going to be a um, classic mode in the full version. Uh, that Oh, that was bad of me. Uh, a, a classic mode in the full version that lets you um, uh, play uh, without the abilities, without the differences in health and movement speed and all that stuff. Uh, but right now you you can only play with the abilities and all that stuff. I'm doing terribly. That's good. Obviously, all the, all the progress was reset uh, after uh, close beta, so I'm low level now and all that stuff. Doesn't really matter though, because I mean, you don't get anything from higher levels except more uh, vanity items, which is good. Because I mean, it would be really awful if 
you know, they put, like, level up walls behind things that changes the gameplay, because I would not be Quake at all. And the game is still very much Quake. Uh, it, it feels good, it's fast, the jumping feels good, the weapons feel good. I don't like that you can't... The, the, the lightning gun has this weird thing where it won't shoot lightning if it can't hit something. Like, I can't, I'm not shooting now, but I'm still, I'm still using... Um, it still takes off ammo, but you just, there was no um, there was no lightning coming out of the gun. And that's that's confusing because I keep thinking the gun isn't working. Uh, you have to be aiming either at the ground or at an enemy uh, or at a wall that's close by in order to have the uh, thing work. I'm sorry if you heard the burp there. That was not intentional. I'm recording this in the morning after I've just had my breakfast. Um, Team Deathmatch so far is my favorite game mode by far. Uh, there is um, four game modes in the public beta, um, and, you, and you can you can get the public beta right now. Like there's no there's there, there's 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 like no restrictions. You can just uh, sign up for a beta code, and you will get it instantly. Um, and the uh, public beta runs until the 21st, I believe. Uh, but there are four game modes. This is Team Deathmatch that I'm showing off, which honestly is the most fun one because. It's four versus four, which isn't a lot, and it's honestly like a, t a team deathmatch in Quake should be more than four versus four, if you ask me. But um, it becomes the best just because the other <laughs> the other game modes have less players. <laughs> like um, for example, there's no tourney mode from Quake Three or Quake Four. Uh, tourney mode doesn't exist. Instead, there's a duel mode where you pick three characters, uh, and it's a one oh, it's a one on one. And you basically have to go through each player's characters in a row. Well, oops, that wow, that that could have gone much better. Oh, the machine gun is so crap. Maybe I should maybe I should switch to the shotgun. Actually, I had completely forgotten until I started recording this that you, that you can spawn with a different weapon. Oh, I need health. Uh, there's some health around the corner here. The, this map is good, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure if you've played Quake 3 you've recognized everything about this map so far. There are a few new additions to the map, but not many. One problem with the abilities, if you do choose to use them, is that you lose the ability to shoot for a while, which can be pretty annoying. You, I don't know, like in, in Quake, I don't feel like you should ever be in a position of you cannot shoot unless you've spent all your ammo, you know? Speaking of which, yes, the gauntlet is back course. Um, classic favorite from Quake 3 and... Oh, from Quake 3 and uh, Quake 4. And uh, it's really good. Let's have a golf fight with this person. There we go. Oopsies. Oopsies. That's not good. I don't... Uh, that, 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 that blue weapon right... Oh, see, this is the upgraded machine gun I just picked up. That blue weapon I had, uh, that's the nail gun. I don't really get the nail gun, because it feels like it never hits the target. <laughs> like... I don't know. Um, I have a bit of a problem with it. Okay, so where are people? See, this is the problem with four versus four. Like, I don't know where people are now, and like, just not many players. But it's fun. Like, I I do like this game. I really do like this game. Like, um, oh, I'm not doing good. Um, I'm by no means a quake master or anything, but um. I can do better than this. Come on, gotta. Quad spawn in 15 seconds. Okay, gotta fight. Gonna go fight over the quad. Oh. Ah oh, shit! Good health. I think Vice's ability is one of the, one of the more useful ones, and that's that's another problem. Like, so, some of the abilities are just not useful. Like, there's a character. Uh, uh, I forget her name, but she's this sort of. I believe she's like a Templar Knight or something, and she's uh, she's undead, and I don't know. Uh, I'll talk about the characters after this, I guess, but... 
Uh, she has a healing tome, like, like a, um, a, t a healing totem, like uh, you know, like, uh, like a lot of MOBA characters would have, for example. <laughs> that didn't work out. Um, and um, and she, um, shit. Uh, and she, um, she tosses that down to down to the ground, but it's not a heal over time thing. Or like a standing in the circle and you'll be and you'll be healed for as long as the circle is up. No, it's a it's it's an instant one-off, like fifty or twenty-five uh, percent heal. I forget which one. And it's just you never have any use for it. Oh, oh yeah, you can't you can't fire rockets through um, portals in this game, which sucks because that's also a quake thing that I miss. I don't think, I don't, I, you, you couldn't do that in every Quake game, but you could do it in a few of them. Oh, shit. You could do it in Quake 4. Uh, I actually, I really like Quake 4. I, I, I'm i I'm a big defender of the multiplayer in Quake 4. Because um, I feel Quake 4 took the best from Quake 3 and Quake 2 and just made it like work together in harmony. Like It was so much fun. Uh, I think it's a shame that people were so focused on um, the... Um, the uh, single player in Quake Watch 4 that they just sort of didn't play the multiplayer at all. Because honestly, the multiplayer was superb in Quake 4. It was really good. Ah. That's a, that over there is a mega Watch health, four. which I believe is the Watch only um, other power up except for the quad damage in this game. Uh, I haven't seen any haste, I haven't seen any adrenaline, I haven't seen any personal teleporters. Those are all basically replaced with um, um, character abilities instead, which I guess works, but I'm kind of hoping that they will still be there in the class. Oh, I got telefragged. That's a first. Um, I'm, I'm hoping they will be there in a the classic mode. Um, okay. Oh, well, I got an assist. That's something. Oh. One problem I have with the game is that I feel I think the the gun models are super ugly. Thankfully, uh, the vanity items include alternative gun models, um, including some classic ones, like uh, actually only classic ones so far, like the Quake One rocket launcher, not the Quake Three one, strangely enough. Um, I'm sure that will come eventually. Oh shit! Wow. Yeah, I I do not get the nail gun. I, I don't get it at all. There's no plasma gun, by the way. That, that, there's no plasma gun, there's no hyper blaster. Um, which is a bit of a shame. I think that's the only weapon missing. Um, yeah, I think those are the only weapons missing. Well, no, the BFG. There's no BFG. Then again, uh, Quake 4 didn't have a BFG. They had the Dark Matter gun instead. So I don't know. I mean, does, does anyone play the Quake, the Quake levels that has the BFG on it, even? But, um, yeah, there's the Quake 1 rocket launcher, the Quake 2 railgun, um... Oh, actually, there is a real... The, the Quake 4 lightning gun, funnily enough, and the Quake 3 machine gun are all available as, um... Nice. As, uh, vanity items. I will show them off after this now. I'm pretty sure we did not make the top three. <laughs> we did pretty badly. Um... So, yeah, let's just skip right back to the game. Um, the loading times used to be really bad, and they were actually really bad yesterday, and then like tonight when I started playing again, or like, b like tonight before I went to bed and then this morning, they sort of just fixed themselves, so I don't know, maybe, I don't know what's going on, why they were so terrible before, but they're fine now, so, I mean, honestly, the main menu shouldn't take this long to load, but the actual like, games, they load pretty decently. Could use some music though, I feel, because this is kind of more to look at. By the way, this is, even though it says id tech and stuff like that in the bottom, this isn't actually running on id tech, which um, is kind of depressing in a way, because I mean, id tech used to be synonymous with Quake engine. Id tech 1 through 3 was called the Quake 1 engine, Quake 2 engine, and Quake 3 engine, you know? Um, and id tech in general has always been referred to as the Quake engine. And id tech 4 was Quake 4, even though people said Doom 3 engine, because that was the first game that came out. Um, 
and this is not running on Intex six. Intex six is running on. Um, oh my god, <laughs> the bad loading times are back. Just because I just because I said they weren't weren't a problem anymore. Um, but no, it's running on the Saber three D engine because this game is apparently developed by Saber Interactive. I don't know if they're. Can we see their? I don't see Saber Interactive in the little credit crawl beneath there. But yeah, um, Saber Interactive, which I, I don't understand this. It's the second time Bethesda has done this. Um, where they put like this random small company on making their multiplayer. You had a creative... Uh, what are they called? No, not creative. No, creative affinity? Is that it? Creative affinity to Doom's multiplayer, which wasn't good. Uh, although actually there's some aspects of Doom's multiplayer I miss in this game. Which I can't believe I'm saying. Also, wow, this loading time is ridiculous. This, this is amazing. But, uh, yeah, Saber Interactive, they did stuff like uh, Halo Anniversary Edition and Halo Master Chief Edition, the multiplayer for the Halo 1 and Halo 2 multiplayer remakes. Um, and, like, the Russian-only Halo Online uh, but they're probably more known for their own games, like Time Shift. <laughs> uh, the, f- the fucking Battleship game. Uh, no, no, it wasn't Battleship, it was Battlefront Los Angeles. Which, honestly, like, those two films are basically the same thing anyway. Uh, the R.I.P.D. The Game, stuff like that. Like, I mean, I'm not saying they're not a good development team, although they, they do have a shoddy list of... They do have some shoddy history, but, like... When you're looking for a team to help make the new Quake, finally, you're just gonna go with some, like, random group like that? It just feels strange. Anyway, yeah, some bad reports. We got Favor here. Fortune? That's what it's called. Favor. What? It's called Favor of Fortune. Anyway, scoreboard. Oh, we did badly. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um... So, um, with favor you can buy loot boxes, basically, because of course there's loot boxes, like, um, yeah, I'm, heck, the more you buy, the, the more you save. And then there's platinum currency, which is real money currency, which we can't get right now, and you buy the rest, for, the rest with that. You also get that stuff when you level up. So it's basically like, I don't know, I guess... Heroes of the Storm would be the easiest to compare it to, but honestly, Heroes of the Storm is kind of less scummy with how, how its uh, currencies work, which is saying a lot. Shards, you like, you can like um, dismantle stuff. Like, if I go to stuff here, I can pick this uh, uh, helmet I have and I can uh, get 10 shards for it. And to show you how little that is, let's say I actually do want to change the weapon. I want to get the, like, the Quake 3 machine gun 200. So I need to uh, dismantle 20 rare, or was it, maybe they were even epic level um, unlocks to get the Quake 3 machine gun. And there's no other way to get shards. So either you get it, get it by luck in a loot box, uh, I can show off the other ones as well. Um, here's the, um, the, I suppose this is meant to be the Doom shotgun. Um, uh, here's the Quake 4 lightning gun, which is really pretty. I actually, I do like the Quake 4 gets some attention in this game. Uh, here's the Quake 1 rocket launcher. Looking good. And the Quake 2 railgun. Which, you know, also looks good. And, I can buy all of those. Um, but it takes forever to get anything, and, like, I don't know. I don't feel this model works for Quake, it just kind of feels pointless. But, you know, whatever. This is the character I was talking about. Galena is her name. It's apparently, like, her her healing totem is just kind of useless, and it's a shame. Uh, Slash, returning character. Used to have a big, like, I don't know if, I don't know if she has, she has to customization, maybe. No, she doesn't. So, in, yeah, in, in Quake 3, she had, like, this... Oh, yeah, they don't have that anymore. In Quake 3, she had, like, a metal plate over her uh, eyes that was, like, etched into her uh, skin and stuff. Like, there was, like, you could see the corrosive blood and stuff. Corrosive? 
Is that a, actually, no, that's not what I'm looking for. Corroded blood and stuff around it, and it was really icky and creepy, and I liked it. Uh, she doesn't have that now for some reason. Um, anarchy, old character as well. Oh god. Uh, the writing is terrible, by the way. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, Anarchy, also from um, Quake 3. I don't. I, I think they completely redesigned him. I think he's older now as well. But he has his hoverboard. Nyx, Sorlag, Clutch, Galena, and Scalebender are new characters. Clutch is like a big robot or something. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, here's the problem, right? These characters aren't interesting. They're really not interesting at all, and that's kind of the big problem, because it's obvious they want to go for, like, the Overwatch thing. Like, they want to have, um... Like, you know, that's that's why they do, they're doing... Uh, that's why they're focusing on, um... making it a, um... a hero-based thing, and... You know, it has the loot boxes, it has the daily shinies. Actually, I don't think Overwatch has daily shinies, but like, it's going after Overwatch, and that's fine in theory. The problem is the people, the reason people like the Overwatch characters are because of them being interesting characters tied to a, you know, a world people care about, a colorful world with interesting stuff. And I'm sorry, but no one cares about Scalebearer from who's who's part of the Grease. Uh, like. I don't know, they also have like all the writing for this character so it's terrible. Um Like I, I said it I said this on Twitter, but like if you want the best experience in this game, then you really should just go into options and like do this. Good. Now you have now you will have a better time. But I'll leave it on for the sake of showing off the game, probably. Cause like the things they say is so annoying. Yeah, she's just there every time you pick her. Like, Slash here, for example, she's... She's got some of the worst lines, like... Um, she has stuff like... Uh, uh, Grandma said I could grow up to be anything I want, so I became an agent of chaos. Things are so emo around here. Stuff like that. It's like, it's, I mean, I, it's cringeworthy. Um... I'm gonna go with the... Oh, cool. Yes, accept the match. Yeah, it's different outfits. These are the full sets, and so then you can get parts and just apply them as you want. Uh, you can also get, like, parts that attach on top of things, like... And apparently you can get a stop sign and a teddy bear. Okay. But, like... That's oh, the problem, right? No. Is Oh. Um... Ruins of Sauron, that's the only that's the only map I haven't played yet, so it'd be fun to play that one. Um or actually have I played that one? Maybe it was another one I haven't played. There is one map I haven't played. Oh no, yeah, I've played this one. This map sucks. <laughs> oh, I should have picked the other one. Well, this one would have won one to vote anyway. But I haven't played this one in sacrifice mode. And sacrifice mode is basically cap capture the flag, except there's only one flag. That's basically it. Um but, um, what was I saying? Oh, right, yeah. So, like, who really spends a lot of time looking at their character in Quake? Like, yeah, I know this fan, I mean, I know there's like this, this, you know, custom player models in Quake 3 and all that stuff. I mean, I had a ton of them myself, and, and they, they were fun to have and uh, all that, but like, that was because they were silly, fun models that you that people made and you downloaded. This game won't even. Ha oh yeah, this is free versus free, which is terrible. Um, you finally called down the thunder. Um, but like, this game won't even have mod support at launch, at least. So. Um, oh yeah, so slashes things, and she can create a trail of shit like this. And then she can, and this will t people take damage, and then they can detonate it. Um, unfortunately, not not as good or useful as it sounds. This rain, by the way, uh, used to cause a lot of performance issues in previous betas. Now it seems to have been fixed, though. 
In, th in fact, I wonder if they added in some fixes overnight, because I, I had a lot of problems with, with getting this game to run decently. Um... Just yesterday, and then t today's been running pretty well. I mean, I'm even, even when I'm recording, it's running consistently at 90 frames per second. I'm not sure what I'm what I'm recording at. I'm recording at 60 or 30, but uh, yeah, 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 on my end, it's running at 90. Yeah, okay. So basically, we need to find this the soul, which is the flag, and it spawns in 15 seconds. Oh, frick. Um, and then we um, need to insert that into our face, basically. And that was a sad way to go. At, le at least I wasn't the first kill of the, of the map. I hate the railgun in this game, it's so ugly. Oh shit. Wow, I'm doing terribly. Okay, but um... Okay, we have the um... The soul. So, yeah, so now the soul is in our base, which means that we need to keep it there until we reach 100%, then we get a point. That's basically how it works. And our base is here. Did I play on this one already? This game mode? No, I didn't. Oh, that now we're dropping frames. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna show off a few more champions and stuff. I have a feeling that most people are just going to be playing classic mode when the game finally comes out. Although they've said that classic mode won't be ranked, which is like... It feels like a big fuck you to the fan base the most. Um... Oh. Oh, fuck. Oh yeah, uh, so... The game... You can just hold down space to automatically jump. So they made bunny hopping easily, easily easier. Um, obviously, you still get you still get better jumps if you do them old-fashionedly, but um, it's it's there to help new players to you know jump about because that's important when you play Quake. Um, that's why I'm barely doing it while recording this because I am terrible. Ah shit. Your team has the quad. I don't know if I, I, I was gonna try and fry her through the by using the lightning gun in the water. Oh my god, it's dropping frames now. Um, but um, I don't know if that works in this game or not. I worked in Quake One. I love that in Quake One. But I, I never remember what the lightning gun in Quake One was called. It, it wasn't called the lightning gun. It was called something else. Oh good. Oh good. Soul spawns in 15 seconds. Oh, come on. <sighs> but yeah, it, but yeah, it's a fun game. I. Soul spawn. I don't like a lot of things about it. I feel that the free to play elements don't fit the game, and. I feel they're going to ultimately make the game less enjoyable if they really just try and make it more like... I'm honest, honestly more like a MOBA for some reason. Um, I mean, it's not a MOBA because you don't really have classes, you don't really play as set team units like that. But like, the whole hero aspect, renting heroes, um, Paying real money to unlock specific heroes, all that stuff. I mean, it, it all feels very MOBA. I, I, I play Heroes of the Storm, which is one of the kinder MOBAs in that regard, but it still does that shit. And honestly, like, I was annoyed at Heroes of the Storm for becoming more um, RNG oriented with loot chests and stuff like that. And then Quake comes around and does it. I don't know. I don't like loot chests. Um, I like getting them when you level up. I think that's a fine thing. Like, that's a fun little bonus. But when they become the main method of getting stuff in a game, it's just not fun. Soul spawn. Your team has the quad. Ugh. They're getting owned here. If they get the three points, they won the first round. It, it's, um, best out of three rounds. Um, for our friends. So, 
we are in their base, hoping they come to deliver it. Oh, quite okay. damage. Oh, never mind. Someone else goes first. Oh, come on. See, this is the problem. The Slash is a character that, like, floats about, so I couldn't jump up here because I kept, like, um. You got the souls. I, I literally kept, um. Just gliding off of the edge. Uh, that happens with a few characters, the, the more flowy characters like like uh, Slash and um, Anarchy, which apparently they know each other. Um, you remember the little banter box would have in uh, Quake 3? That's not in this game, but they will sometimes talk about each other at, when, at the start of a match, which is a little cute, I guess. From my point of view, I'm gonna die. But with the other ones. Enemy has the soul. Okay, is this good? Is this isn't good. Uh, but yeah. So um, I don't know. I feel like this game would have been better off not trying to modernize itself, because if anything with Doom. Bethesda and Id showed that they didn't need to modernize themselves much. I mean, yeah, Doom in Doom in many regards is modernized, but it wasn't like like it kind of specifically modernized the absolutely required portions and kept everything else classic, which is why it worked so well. Okay, and. Thank you. Now you need to protect me there, dude. Oh yeah, you can't use your ability when you have a soul. Um, just like you couldn't use items when you um, had the flag in um, Quake 3. I don't think, at least. I don't think you could do that. Yeah, we lost. So, hopefully we can win the second round. Uh, honestly, this game mode isn't very fun. It would, have been, it would honestly have been more fun with just a classic CTF mode. But the problem is that there's no... Like, the maps aren't made for it. They've just no, taken the deathmatch maps fight. and sort of added in... Sometimes they've added in one room so that they so can have... Uh, the, um... The team's different headquarters... Properly. But other than that, like, they'll just... They'll just put them in randomly in, in whatever spot they find. So yeah, so you saw there, I just dropped the soul. That was because I tried to detonate my, um... Uh, my trail. Because I, you know, that's my, um... Ability, and I had the soul, so I couldn't use it. I do like you get to pick your own catch point, though. Like, ah, oh, fuck! That sucks. I was so close. Seriously, piss off, bozo! <sighs> yeah, like I said, uh, the character's talking is just fucking annoying. Attack <laughs> point B. Okay, so they picked. You got the soul. Yeah, I sure do. Oh, fuck's sake. So, yeah, basically, the, um, the machine gun, the shotgun, and the nail gun have super versions, and you spawn with the non super version, and you pick up the super version. It, it takes, a, takes a while getting used to. Like, I want to go pick up the machine gun here now, because the one I have is shit. But, ah, slash moves so terribly. I just change characters. Um, yeah, okay, I'm changing character. Um, I don't know, let's be someone I haven't been. Let's be Clutch and have a shotgun. God, his shotgun is ugly. Soul spawns. 15 seconds. Point blank. Power up spawn. I went great. Seconds. I'm a bit annoyed because they haven't announced all the characters yet. They just added an advisor. This, this, like this, uh, this beta, but um, like this, this beta weekend. Uh, but I do hope that they will add in. Uh... Oh, that's a power up I haven't seen. I think that would be interesting. So maybe there is more power ups. Uh, but I do hope that they add in Orb from Quake Three. I'm doing really badly. So I guess I have sort of, sort of shield thingy. I should probably have read what I had before I picked the character. 
Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't not I don't like this character at all. Fuck it, let's go with Ranger. Good old Ranger. Soul spawns in 15 seconds. Yeah, so Nyx, the character I'm fighting here, she like goes invisible for a while and it's really annoying. Soul spawn. And I was gonna teleport there to show off Ranger's ability, but I died instead. And I believe you you can't actually telefrag with you, with the the Ranger's ability, which sort of misses the point since that was how the Ranger used the uh, teleport in Quake One. Like I thought that was the entire point, but um... oh, and again I just threw out the souls that I used to my ability. God damn it! So this this is part of the problem, like. I, the ability system just gets in the way of the mechanics too often. Could at least put. Oh my god, I got stuck between characters. Could at least put the um, throw soul on a different button. Come on. The Eon Ranger is annoying to listen to. I think Visor is the least annoying to listen to because like, he just sort of mumbles to himself. I think he does it in a different language too, so it's, it's so I don't know what language though, but like you don't have to if if you don't know that language you, you can easily just ignore what he's saying. When you've been here this long, nothing and everything makes sense. I don't even know how I died there. Like what, were they actually shooting at my teleportation or like, I guess you must have. The, that, the, that annoys me. I, 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 this is the worst map in the game, by the way. But, like, this annoys me. You can't go over this. And yet it throws you right at it. Like, why? Why would they do that? Give me the soul. Oh. The soul isn't there. No, it is there. What the hell? Uh, yeah, don't like this game mode. Three versus three is too few players for a Quake game, if you ask me. Where's the soul? Oh, they have the soul. They haven't put it in yet. Can I? Can, can you like see when they put it in? Because like I swear I can't keep track of where it is. Oh, they won. Oh, well, and terrible. But yeah, now you've seen a bit of Quake Champions. Uh, good game. Good game. And yeah, that's true. Good game. Um, uh, good game with a lot of problems that I don't think will be fixed, but I'm hoping will be fixed before the proper launch. And an unfortunate dedication to modern free-to-play elements that more hurt the game than actually help it. And... It would be really nice if Bethesda realized that, but Bethesda, as the publisher, together with Zenimax, are basically well-recorded scum, so I doubt that will happen. Um, but yeah, Quake Champions, Quake is back, which is always nice, because Quake 4 was 2005, I think, so it's been 12 years, you know? It's, it's about damn time. Honestly, the biggest the biggest problem with Quake Champions is that nothing it does, it does better than previous Quake games. Like, why would you play this over Quake 3 or Quake 2 or Quake 4? Um, I don't know. Pretty graphics, I guess, but the art style is kind of eh. So, I don't know. I really don't know. Like, I... I feel like they sort of get what they should have done with Quake, but they also really just for some reason couldn't stick to just being classic. Also, how annoying is that it's that this little trademark thing next to the Quake symbol here? Like, come the fuck on. Like, seriously. They've never done that before, and the Quake symbol has always been a trademark, so like... 
It just looks ugly. Um, the loading times are a mess. And again, I don't get why Quake isn't on id tech anymore. Instead, it's on Sable 3D. I don't know. Like, it's a weird mix of good and bad. The game at its core is really good, but it doesn't have much to hook, like, keep you hooked in. And, um, the modern additions, like, the loot chest system, the microtransactions, which we still don't know the prices of, by the way. The, the three different currencies, and the fact that they want to focus on this sort of Champions Heroes MOBA style thing. I don't feel like it's going to work. Uh, but it's, it's better than when Quake Live tried to modernize itself, I guess. When they applied loadouts and universal ammo and shit. Like, that was just... No. No. So, that's something, I guess. Uh, funnily enough, uh, the game acknowledges Quake 1, Quake 2, Quake 3. Oh, yeah, okay. It's finished loading. It's like, oh, wow, no XP. You get no XP in this game. Um, if we go on to player profile here and customization... Yeah, you have to unlock the player icons, but like, they acknowledge Quake 1, Quake 2, Quake 3, Quake 4, Quake Champions, Quake Live, Quake Con. But no, no enemy territory Quake Wars. Which is kind of funny, oh my god, there's the Saber logo. But it's kind of funny because, um, Bethesda haven't put Quake Champions back up on Steam either. They own the rights to Quake, to, to Quake Wars, not Quake Champions, Quake Wars, and um, <laughs> for some reason, they never put it back up after the, the right switch from Activision to Bethesda. Same thing goes for the original Prey from 2006, they only have the modern Prey that's more like System Shock, and uh, System Shock 2, I should say, and also Wolfenstein 2009 is also not on Steam anymore. All of those used to be on Steam, but Bethesda for some reason just didn't put them back. I guess I can show off the loot box as well before we end. So we're gonna go to the loot box shop and we're gonna buy. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. We'll buy three loot, loot, loot backpacks. If you, if you thought the Overwatch or the Heroes of the Storm loot boxes were disappointing, get ready for some really, really disappointing stuff here because backpacks give you one item. What do we get? Oh, we got blue pants for anarchy. We got Gears of War suit for Ranger. We got an icon, and it's a syringe. What? Icon. Come on, player icon. Uh. Okay. Can I. What what's that supposed to be? I don't know. Oh 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 no! I do know. I do know. It's um this guy. It's his uh, super ability. He has a he has a syringe on his arm and he shoves it into himself and then he gets high and that's basically his superpower. Uh, anyway, that's Quake Champions. It's in public beta right now. You just go on to the official website and you can get a key. You need to Bethesda the game launcher to play it because it's not a Steam beta for some reason. Um, but uh, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs>